Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today, we have 3 to the m minus 2 to the m equal to 65. And on the first side we need to use log on both sides because we have m right here, it looks like using log is good for us. But I want to show you a really good another method, another tricky method, how can we, how can we solve it. So let's try to solve it, we have a solution right here. First of all I want to start with this one, with this equation that we have in the beginning equal to 65. Second step, I want to show you a really good tricky thing right here. Let's write this 3 to the m let as 3 to the m raised to the power 2 over 2. It will be completely the same because this is equal to 1. And minus the same thing with this one, 2 to the m to the power 2 over 2 equal to 65. Okay, I hope you understand this step. 2 over 2 and 2 over 2 right here. What are we going to do next? I want to show you a really good rule of interchange right here, or, or not interchange, but property a really good. a to the power m raised to the power n. If we had it, we can easily write it as a to the power m times n, or we can rewrite it as a to the power n raised to the power m. This is a really good triple rule. It works in, in both ways, in right here and right here. So as a result, we can easily change these powers we can easily multiply it, so this rule is good for us. But I want to show you that right here we can bring this 2 as denominator of this m. So if we can write it as 3 to the power m over 2 raised to the square minus 2 to the power m over 2 squared equal to 65. Okay, I hope you understand this step. Really good moment. We bring this 2 as a denominator. And if it goes further, we can easily multiply it and we will have the same as in the beginning. So nothing changed for us. Okay, but why this is good for us? Because we can easily apply the formula, identity formula, a square minus b square. We, we know this formula, a square minus b square, so we can easily write it, split it into an identity. We will have 3 to the power m over 2 minus 2 to the power m over 2 and 3 to the power m over 2 <coughs> minus plus 2 to the power m over 2. It's a little bit hard to work with this element, so let's use a substitution. So this element is our x and this is our y. So what do we have as a result? We'll have a really interesting interesting equation. So take a look closely what we'll have. We'll have first parentheses, we'll have x minus y, and in second x plus y equal to 65. So if you look closely, we have a product of two parentheses. This is some number we don't know about it, and this is some number we don't know about it. But how can we factor this? <coughs> how can we factor this 65? Okay, we can factor this, this 65. The best way to factor it is to factor in that way: 13 times 5. Okay, but what parentheses will be 13? What 5? Of course, if we have a subtraction right here, if you have addition, the bigger number will be with this plus, and the less number will be with this subtraction. So we have system of equation. A really good system of equation we have that x plus y equal to 13 and x minus y equal to equal to 5 classic system of equation adding both equations right here cancel in y we have the 2x equal to 18 and x equal to equal to 9 we find our x but what about y where can we find this y okay of course right here 9 minus some number equal to 5 and of course our y equal to equal to 4 or not 4, yeah, yes 4 yes 4, okay what are we going to do next? we have a substitution 3 to the power m over 2 m over 2 equal to x equal to 9 and 2 to the power m over 2 equal to equal to 4 two equations easily we can solve it easily without any troubles we have 3 to the power m over 2 equal to 3 square and we'll have our equation m over 2 equal to 2 and from here m equal to 4 m equal to 4 this is the same 2 to the power m over 2 equal to 2 square we have m over 2 equal to 2 so we'll have m equal to m equal to 4 in this way in this way so as, as you can see in this way it works and it works in this way so m equal to 4 Let's check it real quick. So check. We have 3 to the 4 minus 2 to the 4 equal to 65. Let's check it is that correct or not correct. We all know that 3 to the 4 is 81 
2 to the fourth 16 equal to, of course, 65, which is absolutely correct. So our answer, our answer M equal to 4. This is our, this is our answer. What about you? Write a question, comment, write your suggestion, your comment. How do you find, how do you solve this problem? It will be really interesting to read it. And thank you so much for watching, subscribing. I really appreciate it and see you in the next videos. Have a great day and thank you for supporting.